Lisa and today's video is a really exciting one and one that's been really requested and it is a DIY Starbucks boba or bubble tea video. If you are new to this channel then hey my name's Aliza. you guys should definitely stick around here and subscribe to me if you want to see more DIY videos, more lifestyle videos and I'm not gonna lie I'm, I have a lot of awesome DIYs planned to be uploaded and shared so make sure you stick around. I promise you won't regret it or I hope you won't. This is actually a collab with my friend Karina here on YouTube. She is doing a DIY candles video so you guys should definitely go and check that out. I will put a link to her channel down below. Go check her out. She makes amazing DIY videos. They're so unique and so different and so fun. Really kids? No, be quiet. Um, there's like screaming kids outside my house. It's, it's, it's... So without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. Starting off with the ingredients, you're going to be needing some coffee as well as some tapioca pearls. I got mine off of Amazon.com. You will also be needing some vanilla syrup, but I'm going to show you guys how to make a DIY from it. Um, and then you're also going to need some caramel sauce or syrup as well as any milk of your choice and then ice and granulated sugar, which I didn't show you guys. Then you're going to need a cup. I'm just using this Starbucks cup because, you know, it's a Starbucks recipe and then any like jumbo straw that will allow the tapioca pearls to pass through. So starting with the DIY vanilla syrup recipe, you're going to need one cup of water and one cup of sugar and you just want to boil them on the stove. Once they reach that boiling, um, time you want to reduce the heat and let them simmer for about two minutes while stirring them and then remove it from the heat and then add in one tablespoon of the vanilla extract um, and then just mix everything together before adding it into a separate container or cup or whatever and once you have done this you want to let it cool for about a couple minutes before placing it into the refrigerator for about 20 minutes you can leave them in for a shorter or longer amount of time doesn't really matter so now onto the pearls you want to boil them in a pot of water um, and just add in however much you think you're going to need stir them until they reach the surface of the pot and then you just want to reduce the heat and add in a lid onto the top and let them cook through for about two to four minutes or until you see that they've like turned into these swollen um, balls <laughs> so then you want to remove the pearls from the pot and into a bowl of ice cold water and this is just gonna help them cool off so let them cool off for a couple minutes before once again removing them from that bowl into a separate dry bowl your next step is going to be to sweeten the tapioca pearls and you can use the vanilla syrup that we just made to do that or you can use honey it's up to you I would recommend using the vanilla syrup or any type of sugar syrup the next step is to finally make your drink. So the bottom, you're going to add in some caramel sauce. You can add in however much you want. It's completely up to you. I like a lot of caramel in my macchiato. And then you're going to add in the vanilla syrup. I'm about to add in like one tablespoon. It's up to you, more or less, however much you want into it. The next step is to add in the tapioca pearls into the bottom. Again, it's up to you however much you would like in your drink. Next, you want to add in ice, but I forgot that step. I would recommend doing it first. but here you can see I'm adding in a cup of milk and then adding in the ice. Remember, do the ice first before the milk and don't fill it all the way to the top. The next step is to add in some coffee or espresso. I added in a little bit more than that because I want it to be more like coffee tasting than milk tasting. And then finally, you are going to just drizzle some caramel sauce or syrup at the top, which makes the... Um, completion of a caramel macchiato. And ta-da, you are done with your Starbucks boba. Alright guys, that was the video. I hope you guys liked it. Please, please, please give this video a thumbs up if you did, if you happen to recreate this. Then make sure to send me pictures on my Twitter and Instagram and also make sure to check out Karina's channel. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. So bye!